The truth is, a lot of jobs out there require some education after high school. Let's speak that truth. The truth is that almost every job that will be a good job will require some amount of education after high school. But here's how I think about that. We can't just talk about higher education without thinking about what kind of training Americans need to get hired. Instead of simply framing it as higher education, let's create a variety of opportunities for education after high school. And for some, that's a training program or an apprenticeship to get the certificate they need to get the job they want. For some, that's a technical college, just like this one. And for others, it's a four-year college degree. There isn't only one path to success. A majority of the jobs we will create through the American Jobs Plan will require at most six months of training after high school. And we're going to invest in workforce development in a big way. We're also going to create as many as two million new registered apprenticeship slots. And we're going to make sure that these opportunities are equally available to women as well as men. Because there's an interesting fact, in case you didn't know, hard hats are actually unisex. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. So now the best way, I also believe, to get a good job is through a strong union. Union members have better pay, better health care, better retirement, better protections on the job. I believe every worker in America deserves the ability to organize or join a union. And there's another thing about American jobs and the American Jobs Plan. It will not only create good jobs, it will have a big impact, impact on communities. It will have a big impact on people's quality of life at home. Let's talk about, for example, broadband. The world runs online, and yet millions of Americans, many of whom live in rural America, do not have access to broadband, and if they do, it is not affordable. Broadband impacts our economy. It impacts our education system, our healthcare system. And I'm talking about small business owners who don't have the literal bandwidth to grow their businesses, students, who can't study at home, who have to drive to the local McDonald's, to the parking lot, to get access to their Wi-Fi. Seniors who haven't seen their doctor because in the middle of a pandemic, telemedicine is not an option for them. The President and I are determined to make sure that every person in our country can access broadband and afford it. Let's talk about water. There are more than one million miles of pipes that deliver drinking water to homes across America. For as many as 10 million American families, many families of color, those pipes are made of lead. So here's what drinking water from a lead pipe can do to the human body. For adults, it can increase your blood pressure and decrease kidney function. For children, it stunts growth and can cause damage to the brain. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control, they're quite clear when they say lead exposure harms our children. That is why we are going to replace every lead service line in our country and invest in our country's water infrastructure. You know, at its root, I believe that infrastructure is about all the support systems 
that make our country work. Roads that keep us moving, water that keeps us healthy, broadband that keeps us connected, and care, child care, home care. Because here's the thing, think about it. Care, child care, home care keeps us working. It keeps working people working. Just ask any parent who has been home with their kids for the last year. Ask anybody who has been caring for their mother or their father for the last year. Care should be readily available and affordable to working people. And caregivers should be paid fairly and treated with dignity and respect. And small business owners who run child care and home care businesses must be fully supported. Care infrastructure is a basic foundational support system for our nation. It is part of the infrastructure that allows us to be productive, to do the work that we must do, to be functional as a society. And I believe it is past time we invest in it. And here is the bottom line. This plan, the American Jobs Plan, is not just about fixing what has been. It is about building what can be. And I do believe this, then, is the very definition of American aspiration. And this is the very definition of America. The capacity of our nation has never been in question. The ingenuity of our nation has been the envy of the world. That was true when we built the Transcontinental Railroad that was true when we brought electricity to every household in America. That was true when we raced to the moon. And that will be true when the United States Congress passes the American Jobs Plan. And North Carolina, the President and I are determined to get this done. And like you, like Americans everywhere, we are not afraid of the hard work it will take. So for all of that, I thank you, North Carolina. It is so good to be back. May God bless you, and may God bless America. Thank you.